Hello there, <laughs> and welcome to my canoe and the river. That's that's a word that's kind of difficult to uh, pronounce for a Norwegian. I wish I could travel further up this stream <laughs> today, but I only have like a couple of hours available today. Now, uh, this canoe, it's a 16-foot um, uh, flat-bottomed <laughs> flat -bottomed canoe. Um, and I bought this because of the seats, actually. It's not... I'll, I'll bring you a close-up of every detail of this boat here. Um, but it's, it's, it's very comfortable. And you know, I have been canoeing for... I believe I did that... I've, I've been on three canoeing trips. Uh, two of those lasted for... Uh, around one week but now my lower back <laughs> is not uh, in the state that it was when I was in my teenage years so now I felt I really need some proper seats with a backrest and this canoe has such seats. Now I promised you also uh, sort of that I would go searching for a Viking burial site. Now, I won't be going that far up the stream uh, today uh, and also I need to do some more research on that you know uh, to find out where it is. Um, nobody really knows. It's one of those burial sites that has been leveled with the, the ground up through the centuries, you know, so I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll do my best, I'll do some research and get back to that. It, it's, it's really beautiful here and it's actually a um, wildlife reserve just a few hundred meters behind me downstream and by the way I am paddling upstream um, it's very interesting that um, during the Viking Age I talk a lot about the Viking Age I know but during the Viking Age uh, the sea level was higher so um, some say around four meters but I've heard different numbers as well uh, but anyway this river here it's 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 kind of flat around it and and you can imagine that the long ships would have gone upstream here and the river would I don't know I'm not a geologist but uh, probably it was wider that's my guess it looks like it was wider or the sea was actually like up here somewhere or, or further up um, so it's, it's fascinating to look at the landscape um, and I do apologize for not bringing a better camera out here but it's uh, the GoPro is my only waterproof camera seeing some wildlife or is it some just a floating branch last time I was here I saw a, uh, an otter and it just just in a glimpse and it was gone <laughs> but it was really close to the canoe and I really really enjoyed this this way of um, 
traveling in the wild. Now I'm not in the wild, uh, I should say. It's um, there's a road right up here, and the train is like a uh, hundred meters to my starboard or right. Um, I don't know what's normal in a canoe. Do you use the naval terms like starboard and so on? I don't know. But it's it's a very secret place. This I feel it's a secret place. It's a uh, secret river. I don't know if there are anyone coming here. I've seen some very old boats in the. Um, among the grass, the tall grass on the sides here. Uh, probably been lying there for decades. And I'm seeing lots of uh, dragonflies. And the wildlife was just a floating branch. <laughs> I do know that there are, there, there is wildlife here, lots of uh, animals. Branch. So I think uh, it's very important to, to find those places close by where you live. Because they are much more accessible. You can, I mean, I was driving for, to get here I have to drive for like 10 minutes maybe not even 10 minutes so if I have a couple of hours available I know I can just come here and, you know I, I've seen people demonstrating the correct technique to use in a canoe now, I don't have a, the correct technique um, but I'm not so concerned about that. I like just that it doesn't make any sense to me to go fast, and I need to have my. It's it's a canoe with a recliner chair, this. So I like that. I brought some ginger beer actually, and some uh, sausage. <laughs> Italian sausage and um, I think English ginger beer. So I'm going to uh, drop the anchor up here and uh, have a late lunch. So that's going to be very nice. And I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, the fall. And uh, actually, I like summer, but I'm, I'm, I have been like, I, I have wanted to go canoeing in the late fall for a long time. When you have, you know, um, fog on the water and some frost surrounding the river it's very beautiful I wouldn't say I, I, I can't wait for the fall but <laughs> uh, I like some so I like this this warmth and as well even though it's extremely warm at the moment and these dragonflies are very... Uh, they are uh, curious. It's like they come, they're coming up to the canoe and checking out... What's this? Lots of them around here.
this is the train behind me. Uh, people use uh, those who live uh, nearby where I live. If you can hear someone screaming, it's just the sheep. <laughs> they sound a bit peculiar for some reason. Now, the, the train uh, people they are uh, commuting, I think that's the word, to Oslo from uh, Fredrikstad. And, uh, they use the train going here behind me. Anchor is really it's the smallest anchor I've ever seen. You know, like this. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have here. Now, <clears throat> here's some ginger beer. Now, I should have brought some ice, because you can put ice in here. There's a dead fly there. Uh, well, sausage and ginger beer. Now, this is... <laughs> I'll have to put the camera somewhere else and uh, I don't have uh, enough of this. I'm going to put more of these on my canoe. So I'll just uh, prepare my food now and um, I'll see you in a second. Now this, this video is like uh, very primitive because I have like two or three camera angles and that's all. But anyway, cheers! <sighs> oh. It had kind of a sting to it. I like it. This is pepperoni sausage. Pepperoni sausage and ginger beer. Cheers. It's cold. If someone walked past and they <laughs> they saw this guy sitting in the canoe, eating sausage and talking to himself. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a dragonfly. I really like dragonflies. In Norwegian, they are actually not called, they're called something entirely different. They are called Øyenstikere, which would be in English um, it means that they go for your eyes they will sting you in your eye oh. I kind of felt that I deserved a couple of hours out here in the canoe today I mean, I was up at 2 a.m. this morning. And why? That's what you do as an artist. Hmm. Going in the right, not backwards at least. 
Now I'm going to get upstream and now it's going really fast. So basically I can just steer. Okay, yes, I did promise a uh, closer look at the canoe, so anchor, and we have these seats, now this one is not in use now obviously, and there's a uh, sort of a seat, and, and uh, yeah, you can keep your food here, and you know, watertight compartment here really you can keep your cell phone in there and a very comfortable seat and a grey owl paddle and it's bent which uh, I find much more comfortable it's an old town Saranac 146, as you can see here. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, as I often say, thanks for spending this time with me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not already a subscriber and you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And I'm sorry for the cars cars behind me here. Huh? <laughs> okay, um, that's all for now and uh, take care and I, I'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.